Horror fans have a lot to look forward to over the next couple of years, with a growing slate of sequels to smash hits, original projects from trusted filmmakers, and even a couple of exciting remakes on the rise. 2019 in particular looks to be a strong year for the genre. So let's take a look at what the kind of distant future will bring for Fright fans. An American Werewolf in London John Landis's landmark 1981 film established him as a daring filmmaker with a strong visual style and proved that he could successfully blend gut-wrenching horror with comedy. So, remaking An American Werewolf in London might seem like a risky proposition for most filmmakers. But with the original Artur's son, Max is ready to take on the task and he has his father's blessing. Sort of. The elder Landis told Collider, I know it won't be as bad as An American Werewolf in Paris, which was Oh, be serious, would you? Firestarter Stephen King's Firestarter, a story about a young girl with powerful pyrokinetic abilities on the run from sinister government agents, was adapted in 1984 with a young Drew Barrymore in the lead. While it's one of the more faithful adaptations of King's work, it hasn't aged perfectly, so Blumhouse Productions is ready to give the story a fresh new look. One potential hiccup is that screenwriter Akiva Goldsman is attached to direct. Goldsman had a pretty major setback in 2017 when his screenplay for King's Dark Tower failed to resonate with fans. But maybe he'll turn things around with the new Firestarter. IT Chapter 2 An even stronger Stephen King story in the pipeline is the sequel to IT. The first chapter blew everyone away at the box office, but Warner Brothers didn't greenlight the second installment until they were absolutely sure the film would be a hit. Which means even though fans are clamoring for a follow-up, there's still a lot of work to be done. Director Andy Muschietti is all but guaranteed to return, and says that the film will center around the adult lives of the losers as they return to Derry to battle Pennywise, but that we can expect to see all of those cute kiddos from the first film too. IT Chapter 2 is scheduled to hit theaters on September 6, 2019. The Crooked Man In addition to a new installment of The Conjuring, 2019 will also deliver another spin-off slash sequel in The Crooked Man. Based on one of the creepiest scenes from The Conjuring 2, the film is expected to flesh out The Crooked Man's backstory. Between this, The Nun, and the continued chills brought on by the Annabelle series, The Conjuring universe is expanding into even scarier new territory with every take. Untitled Wizard of Oz Movie the Wicked Witch of the West is pretty frightening, and goodness knows the world of L. Frank Baum got wild in Return to Oz. But now, New Line Cinema is ready to see Oz get even darker with a Wizard of Oz-centric horror film. The film will be written by newcomer Mike Ways, who's already showed some promise in Hollywood with a blacklist script called Hammer Space. With all the anthropomorphic creatures and conniving wizards already lurking around Oz, it's not hard to imagine the world getting very, very grim. I didn't scare myself. <laughs> Untitled Joss Whedon World War II Film Joss Whedon has been tied up to the realm of superheroes lately, but he's still got the gift of making edgy horror fair. In 2019, he's returning to the fright fold at last with a new historical horror film. He told Complex, It's as dark as anything I've ever written. It's a historical fiction-slash-horror movie about a time when the world was going insane. Whedon went on to discuss the eerie parallels he uncovered between 1930s Germany and the modern-day United States. So count on this one to be creepy and a little too timely for comfort. The Blob the 1958 low-budget horror classic The Blob has already gotten the remake treatment once, in 1988. That version was pretty inessential, but with Samuel L. Jackson and Halle Berry reportedly starring in a new take, things are about to get even quirkier. Action director Simon West has long been attached to the project, but we'll have to wait to see how The Blob takes shape. But with Jackson on board to star, we can probably count on some wonderfully weird one-liners. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this mother. Play. Glass. If you haven't seen Split yet, spoiler alert, you may want to skip ahead. Still there? Okay. Split was certainly anchored by James McAvoy's mesmerizing performance, but it's the film's last act that really sticks the landing. In the final scene, Bruce Willis makes an unexpected return as David Dunn, the hero of 2000's Unbreakable, and ties the world of the beast into the world of Samuel L. Jackson's Mr. Glass. M. Night Shyamalan has never been a sequel guy, so it was a shock to see that those two films are not only connected, but that a third installment of the Unbreakable series called Glass is on the way too. The cast will feature Willis, Jackson, McAvoy, and Anya Taylor. Taylor Joy all reprising their roles, and it will be the final installment of the Dark Superhero Trilogy that has suddenly taken shape. Glass will hit theaters on January 18, 2019. Eli 
Writer David Cecciarello contributed one of the most brutally satisfying segments of the 2014 horror anthology ABCs of Death 2, and his screenplay for Eli garnered some attention after making the 2015 Blacklist. The film centers on a sick boy who experiences ghostly goings-on at a secluded clinic, and with Sinister 2's Kieran Foy at the helm, Eli could be a sleeper hit in the making. Hellboy Fans had long held out hope for a third installment of director Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy series, but that hope was unfortunately dashed when del Toro finally admitted in 2017 that it just wasn't going to happen. Sorry, lady. But that doesn't mean moviegoers have seen the last of the right hand of doom. Director Neil Marshall, best known for his nerve-jangling 2005 thriller The Descent, will be taking the helm of the R-rated reboot, and Stranger Things' David Harbour is already impressed with a first glimpse of his physique for the title role. Count on having a hell of a good time when Hellboy hits theaters on January 11th. Untitled Jordan Peele Project Last but not least, Jordan Peele is returning to the horror scene in 2019. His directorial debut, Get Out, was one of the most talked about movies of 2017, so there's a lot of excitement already building around what he may do next. Peele is expected to deliver another socially charged horror film, and told Screen Junkies, The worst monster that you can explore in a horror movie is human beings themselves. I think the scariest thing we don't talk about enough is that when people get together, we're capable of the darkest things. Peel's new pick will drop on March 15th, 2019. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.